If you're like me, you've been in hunt of some extra gold. For me, it was reforging, but I'm sure there are many other reasons you might want extra gold. Here I've developed a kill zone in the dungeon, and it's worked really well as a money farm for me. You're going to want to craft a large hallway through the dungeon here. Uh, here I've placed blue candles to boost the spawn count. I've placed banners, as you can see here. That'll increase your damage against the enemies that tend to spawn here. And I've got all of my minions here doing the work for me. I really don't have to do any of the heavy lifting. You see the wiring here on the heart statue. Once that lever is thrown, it will spawn hearts occasionally. There's a three second timer attached to the wiring. So once you throw the lever, it's set it and forget it essentially. You're going to want to do this away from tile areas. The one threat to this strategy is the Diabolist who can spawn in tiled areas. So this is me in relation to the surface and the rest of the dungeon. Showing you my armor here. This is Endgame Stardust Armor. It's the best available for the summoner strategy here. It'll boost minion count by a total of 5. The only drawback is somewhat weak defense. But with the enemies not really approaching you, it's pretty awesome. These accessories, you can adjust as you see fit. The one thing I would definitely recommend is that the bottom there, the scarab, increases minion damage and minion count. Very useful. So again, you've developed a kill zone here, and if you sit tight, collect the hearts, and every now and then collect uh, the gold, you'll do quite well. Even the paladins, as you can see here, never even reach you. So that's it. It's worked pretty well for me. I had a variant on this earlier in hard mode to generate money, but it really comes into its own when you can bring out all of these minions. Hope the video helped you guys. Uh, good luck if you do recraft your dungeon. Thanks a lot for watching.